and welcome to my vlog series. Oh, I have always wanted to say that. I'm Jules Carl and this is my brand new vlog series. A huge thank you for all the amazing messages of support and love that you have sent. I'm so glad that so many of you are coming on board with this weight loss series. We are gonna have so much fun. I've always wanted to be a vlogger and now I get to do the whole thing about weight loss because most of you, I suppose, joined me on this journey when I was actually at my goal weight. Now I get to show you how I actually do it and drop the pounds. I was thinking to myself with this, where do I even start? So I guess if you already follow me on Snapchat, you probably feel like you know me because I chat away to the camera all day, every day. If you've read my book, Flabyrinth, you probably feel like you know me a bit. Uh, following me on Facebook, maybe not so much. If you've seen Nine Stone Light or my documentary, yeah, you might know me. So I suppose we um, probably got a lot of relationship building to do, don't we? You could say this is kind of like our first date. Do you uh, come here often? We have got a huge amount to cover over the next three months. And I'm really conscious as well that I don't wanna overload you or overwhelm you with how much we have to learn. So as I gave you a sneak peek in my introductory vlog video to BB, which stands for bad bitch. And let's just ease ourselves into all of this. Let's not try to make big, huge, dramatic, crazy changes overnight, because when we try to do that, sometimes it can just be too much for the system. BB can't cope with that. She just goes nuts. I am not doing that diet. It sounds like too much hard work. Count me out. I love my pizza too much. Sorry. So if we ease ourselves into it slowly, BB won't really know what's happening. And then over a course of time, changes will be made. Changes will become habits. And then the habits will become a new lifestyle. And that's another secret. Disclaimer. Everything that I'm putting into this vlog series is what suits me. So what you can do is you can copy everything that I'm doing, or what you can do is you can adapt it to suit you and what works for you and your life and your tastes. It's very important as well that we remember this is a journey that we're going on. The changes aren't gonna happen overnight. I have done so many millions of diets over the years, and I've been a few days into them and gone, I feel amazing. And we get on the scales and be like, oh, I'm down a few pounds or my tummy's got flatter or whatever. And then I just expect that I'm going to be at my goal weight. And I'm like, but I've put in this little bit of effort. Now, what, what, what do you mean? Like the, uh, what? It's not going to happen overnight. All of us have our different goals with the amount of weight that we want to lose. Um, and we really do need to bear that in mind. The one thing I'd love you all to do is to comment below this video and let me know what you would like to see in this vlog series. Tell me what you want me to cover because on Wednesday at six o'clock, I will be doing a Facebook Live video where I will address all of your questions. One of the big things as well that people are always asking for is, Jules, will you please do makeup tutorials? Yes. I will, I will show you all of that. I kind of want to include my life as well as just all of the whole healthy, fitness, weight lossy stuff and everything as well. We'll have a big, huge variety of all sorts in the vlog. So I've got a wardrobe full of clothes and none of them fit me anymore. I've been going around in baggy sweatshirts and while this is lovely and comfy, look what I got. This is my gold dress. Same print material, except in a lovely summer dress. So in 90 days time on the 9th of August, which is my 38th birthday, my goal date, I am gonna wear this out on my birthday night and I'm gonna look fantastic in it. And this, well, it's going to the charity shop. I have tried every single diet going over the last 15 years. You name it, I've tried it, I've done it. They might work, but only for five minutes. And yes, I had a gastric bypass, but what that did was, because I was morbidly obese, it gave me a tool to control my overeating. But I still had to work my ass off with my diet and exercise. And guys, if there was an easy way, I would know about it. But Jules, my friend Mary swears by the skinny tea. It's meant to be amazing. The only way to do it is through hard work, effort, consistency, dedication, bit of sacrifice, but just hard work lads. Oh listen, I wish there was an easy way, I really do. And I mean, God knows BB wishes there was an easy, an, e an easy way, an easy way, but there just isn't. Sorry, there is gonna be loads of things in this vlog that I'm gonna say, and they're gonna be things that you do not want to hear. 
and your inner BB is going to be like, and Jules, are you absolutely sure that we have to do all that stuff that you're saying? Because it seems really hard and I just love all of this. Can I not have all of this and just lose the weight? No? And I absolutely believe that we all have one. I had one called Siobhan, who I wrote about in my book, Flabyrinth, and I've managed to conquer her. And she was the one who used to tell me all the terrible things about myself. And the next one I've given just a sort of a general name, bad bitch, it's your inner bad bitch. And what is it about Bibi? I mean, we could say, is she our lazy side? Is she the side that we say, I have no willpower? Is that what she represents? What I think she is, is our insecurity. She's our fear. Bibi likes to stay in the comfort zone. She's the part that just wants to stay in safety. But in order to get to a goal weight or to make yourself happier or get to a happier place, you have to step out of your comfort zone. What you have to do is get comfortable with discomfort. Because making a change involves stepping outside of that comfort zone. So getting comfortable with discomfort is going to be key in all of this. Changes have to be made because if what we're doing has led us to the place of where we are now, how we feel about our body or the weight that we are, it means that whatever we're doing is not working. So we've got to try a different tactic. And that new tactic will involve stepping out of the comfort zone and trying new things. And that's okay. It's a good thing. We need to embrace it. And teacher, are you sure that they haven't invented a diet pill? So as the vlogs go on, we'll learn more about dealing with BB. I mean, obviously it's a big, big issue, but we won't fix her overnight, but we'll fix her in time. We just have so much to cover, but we've got the time to do it and we're going to enjoy the process. I'm so excited about this vlog series and just to see what I can achieve in 90 days and not only with just transforming my body with weight loss, also now that I've teamed up with Havana Skin Clinic, I'm going to do laser hair removal, all sorts of fancy facials and everything, microdermabrasion, oh my god, I will vlog all of it and show you what it's like to experience the before and after results and my plan pretty much in 90 days is to look like about mm, 12 or 13 years old. I know, but seriously, if it wasn't for Havana Skin Clinic supporting this vlog series, I wouldn't be able to make it. So I am forever grateful to them for believing in me and supporting the series. So thank you. Check out their website. It's HavanaSkinClinic.com. I can't reiterate it enough. Everything that I'm sharing with you, this is what works for me. But what you can do is you can adapt it to suit you and your lifestyle and your goals and what you want to achieve and make it work for you. So obviously, as I have lost weight, there are millions of things that I have learned, lots of tips, secrets, all sorts, and I wanna share them all with you. And um, the first thing that we're gonna learn about is meal prepping. Now, for me, in my experience, the absolute key secret to losing weight is preparing your food in advance. So how do I meal prep? Let me show you. What I do is I meal prep on a Sunday evening. It takes me about 45 minutes to prepare my food for the next few days. And then I will meal prep again on Wednesday night for the next few days. Now, I normally buy the turkey mince and make my own turkey burgers, but I've got a crazy week this week, so I'm buying my way out of the problem. Bought the turkey burgers, bought the couscous. It's just one of those weeks. So the turkey burgers are on the George Foreman. I'm gonna do them for six minutes, three minutes on each side. Into the lunch boxes, I am filling them with loads of fresh spinach. Going in next for the good carbohydrates is the couscous. I'm gonna put about three tablespoons into each lunchbox. And that is Meal Prep 101 with Jules. Now, one of the biggest questions that I get asked is, Jules, do you put your food in the fridge or the freezer? Once I've meal prepped my food, I put it in the fridge and every day I take it out, I put it into one of those little, um, it's like a little tiny keep a cool bag and I'll bring it to work with me or else I'll just grab from the fridge and eat it straight away. And the reason why meal prepping is so important, it means that you're gonna put in a minimum amount of effort and it means that you can never fall off the wagon because the food is always there. Your healthy choice is right there at your fingertips. And it just means as well that you just have to put in a small amount of effort on a Sunday and a Wednesday. And then you've got all of your food covered for the entire week. It also means there's a hell of a lot less washing up. So meal prepping, my absolute number one key for losing weight. One of the big things as well that people say, oh Jules, do you not get sick of eating the same food day in, day out? And the answer is no, I don't. If you are one of those people and you feel like Jules, I just couldn't eat turkey burgers three or four days in a row. I love you. I love you too. That's grand. 
what you can do is go onto the meal prep section of my website and just choose some different things and then you can you know just make a variety of foods for you to yourself to eat over the couple of days so all you have to do for now, your little bit of homework, is just to go onto julescall.com and have a good surf through the website, have a look at the recipe section, everything's under the health section. Um, you can look up about meal prepping, um, all the recipes and suggestions I have there for breakfast, snacks, lunches, dinners, um, it's all up there. So in tomorrow's vlog we'll be going through the food plan and we'll be breaking down what we'll be eating, when we'll be eating it, what we won't be eating, why we'll be eating, where, well, how I will be who will be eating and we will be doing all of the breaking down and at six o'clock on Wednesday I am going to do a live Facebook video and um, a QA. and a it'll actually it'll be live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time um, and I will answer as many of the questions as I possibly can so in tomorrow's vlog we are going to talk about my magical elixir my deep bloat water I'm sharing with you my secret recipe this is it I've been chugging it here all morning lovely lipstick on the glass there I don't know how it works but it does. I'm gonna show you what's in it, how to make it. It's magical, Harry Potter stuff like. So um, that's coming up tomorrow. Cheers. Before embarking on any sort of weight loss plan, I definitely recommend that you go and visit your GP, just get yourself checked out from top to toe and um, get advice from your GP about what's best for you, your health and your body. Also, a big thing that has come up is the response to me telling you about my depression and anxiety that I've gone through. The messages of support are just amazing, so thank you. I will talk a lot more about this in the coming weeks and share with you what I experienced, how I dealt with it and how I got myself back to this happy place that I'm in now. Thanks so much for watching this. Please give it a like and a comment and a share and a subscribe on YouTube and a follow on Facebook and the whole lot. Really appreciate all the support and I really hope that this vlog series is of benefit to you. We've got a nice little journey ahead together. This is just the start of it. So let the good times roll. See you tomorrow. of shite in your mouth. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna say you put the chocolate. Do you know what I felt like? What? Do you remember Elf when he had the spaghetti and oh, he put yeah. all the maple syrup and everything yeah, else yeah. and I was thinking of that. It's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Like the pepperoni would fly and hit the wall. Did it? Yeah. I think it started the floor. It's beside you now. Oh my god. Are you still rolling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>